Hello, everyone, and welcome to AppleScript Today. My name is Chris, and thank you for watching this video. Today, I'm going to show you a very simple AppleScript, which will copy the name of a folder so that you can paste it onto something else that you're doing, a document, an email, or whatever it is. Now, the whole point of AppleScript is to take something that is a part of your workflow, whether you're working with photographs, movies, documents, emails, whatever it is, you take some aspect of that thing that you do every day or every couple of days or once a week or once a month, whatever it is, and instead of doing it in the four or five steps where you click and you do the keyboard and you click and you do the keyboard, you just tell AppleScript to do it. You basically, you tell the computer to do it. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So if we go over here to the Finder window, you see this is my Documents folder. And I have three very important folders full of things that I'm working on. Here in the uh, Lentil Soup Recipes folder, you can see I have a shortcut to a YouTube video from the young ones. Uh, here in my uh, Millard Fillmore folder, I'm working on some very important uh, information about the former U.S. president. And here in this work folder alpha, I'm hard at work on a very important lengthy treatise on the historical importance of Tom Servo. So let's say that there's something that I do every day or once a week where I have to take the name of this folder and copy it and paste it into a document or an email. Or maybe it becomes the name of something else I'm working on. Whatever it is. So I could just highlight it like that and go in here and copy it like that. And then if I go over to my text edit document that I have here, if I go over here and I can just paste it in. Now that's fine. It doesn't take very long to do that. But if I do this every day, or on some regular basis, then I should find a way to automate this. So the first thing I want to do is to tell the finder to get the name of whatever the current open window is or folder. So I'm going to set a variable here. And if you're not a programmer and you don't know anything about code, don't, don't be uh, alarmed by any of this stuff. It's not difficult. I'm not a programmer or a coder. I don't write apps or uh, programs for anybody. But I do write a lot of these scripts. So we want to get the name of the first window and uh, get it as a, uh, as, a, as a string of characters. So if I hit the enter button there in the script editor, it basically checks the code and says it looks good. So we're going to get, this line of code will get us the name of that. So just to see that it works, we go back over here to Finder, we see we're in Lentil Soup Recipes. If we run this, we get Lentil Soup Recipes. So now that we have that, the next thing we want to do is put that on the clipboard. So we're going to write here to set the clipboard to that variable. And hit Enter. Or you can hit this little hammer here. And that tells us that that's fine. So this will now get lentil soup recipes and put it in the clipboard. If we run this, We get lentil soup recipes and it's on the clipboard. And the way that I know it's on the clipboard is I can go over here to text edit and I can paste it in and there it is. Now this saves us a little bit of time, but the real magic of AppleScript, I'm going to delete this here. The real magic of AppleScript is when we start to do really let the computer do all the work. So once we get this on the clipboard, then we're going to tell the computer 
to do something with text edit. So we're going to tell text edit, and this could be pages, this could be Word, this could be your mail, this could be Excel, this could be any, any application where you're going to paste text into it. So we're going to tell text edit to activate. Now here we're going to put in a delay of a second, and I'll tell you why we're going to do that. Because in the next line, we're going to tell something called system events. Which again, if you don't know anything about AppleScript, excuse me, system events. If you don't know anything about AppleScript and you don't write code, this is all, don't worry about this, this is all fine. Just, this is just to give you the gist here. One of the things that AppleScript can do is do keystrokes. So instead of you hitting the keyboard, the computer virtually hits the keyboard. And so in this line of code, we're going to tell, and you can see the script editor sometimes does these things where it put a, you know puts parentheses around this, for instance. So in this line of code, this will paste the, the name of the folder into our open text edit document. So let's watch this in action. So let's go, actually, let's not highlight any of these. So we're in our documents folder. So if we go back over here and we run the code. We're going to see that it will get the name of the folder. It will put the folder on the clip, the name of the folder on the clipboard. Then it will activate text edit. It will wait for a second. Um, and the reason we do that is just, it could be any amount of time, but the reason we do that is just to give the computer a moment just to make sure text edit is up and running. Because sometimes you can, depending upon the speed of your computer, you can tell something to activate and it takes a moment to come on. So we delay it for a second. And then after that delay, the computer will paste that into the document for us. So it looks like this. So it's very fast, you can see, but it pasted it open text edit and it pasted documents right in there. So if I was writing then I want Apple script to do as much of it for me as it can. So I've got this part of the sentence and now I want to put uh, I want to put Millard Fillmore in there. Go back over here just to make sure it's highlighted. Now we run it again. And you can see I didn't do a thing. All I did was run the code. And the computer just pasted it in there for me like kind of like magic. Now this is fine uh, to run this from script editor. But the real power of this is that you don't have to open the script editor to do this. You can save this somewhere where you can either run it automatically, the keyboard shortcut, or, or with the click of your mouse or your trackpad. So I'm going to save it in the user scripts folder. Now in script editor, you want to make sure, under preferences, that this is highlighted right here, show script in menu bar. Now you can show the computer scripts or not if you don't want to. I don't show them because I don't really use them, but that you may find something useful in there. But make sure this is highlighted because that is this right here, this little thing. And you click on that, and right now there's nothing in there. But if we save this, and this automatically open to my scripts folder, but I'll show you where that is. If you go into your home folder, you go into your library, and you may have to go into Finder to tell it to show the library because it, it won't automatically do that in most versions of Mac OS. But it's in the library there. So you scroll down here to scripts, and we'll save it as copy and, you know, call it whatever you want. We'll call it that, copy and paste folder name. In fact, we'll just quit script editor altogether. And we'll take this back out. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see 
that now the thing that we just saved is there and it's this. So I just click on that. And again, I didn't do anything. I just clicked on that thing and the computer did it automatically. Now, if clicking is too much of an ordeal uh, for you, you can also set it up with a keyboard shortcut under services. Now, that's a little more complicated and uh, maybe the subject of another video sometime. But if you know, if you watch this video and you're interested in Apple Script, you probably know all that. Uh, anyway, if you don't, you can, there are many ways to go out and learn it or just keep watching future videos. So for now, that's all I wanted to show you today. So thank you very much. And I'll talk to you again sometime in the future. Bye-bye.